Hey guys, so lately we've been taking a lot of heat for our backyard bunny farm. Understandably so because today rabbits are like the third most popular pet in the US and there's a lot of stigma out there about raising bunnies as livestock. For those of you who may actually be curious about why we decided to raise rabbits, perhaps this video can clear up some misconceptions about bunny farming or any kind of farming for that matter. There you go. Oh, too much. Too much. <laughs> First and foremost, we love our animals. Compassion is not a trait that's exclusive to vegetarians. Although I think some of them could exercise a little bit more of that on behalf of their own species. <laughs> like the vast majority of farmers, we have a deep appreciation for the sanctity of life. Just because our animals serve a purpose on our farm, beyond entertainment and companionship doesn't mean that they're neglected or unloved. Keeping livestock, like anything else, is a balancing act between capability and practicality. We do the best that we can with the knowledge and the resources that we have. We care about the health and happiness of our animals and try to prevent and alleviate suffering. That being said, death and suffering are simply a fact of life. No living thing, plant or animal, on earth can escape it. Whether or not you eat that animal, it is going to die one way or another. Whether it is killed, eaten, gets sick and dies, or expires at a ripe old age, all of those options usually include a bit of suffering. Choosing to eat one animal but not another, without religious motivation, is about cultural preference and is not a moral or ethical argument. Our way of life is different for sure, but is it really that different from raising backyard chickens? Are bunnies somehow more valuable or important because they have fur and not feathers? Look at your big belly. Wild rabbits were originally domesticated by humans and selectively bred for their excellent meat and fur. Only in recent history and in places where food security is no longer an issue have we seen this change. Raising rabbits as they were originally intended is now considered by many to be an act of animal cruelty. Farming isn't glamorous or insta-perfect, and a lot of people hate the fact that we use cages to house our animals. Putting a little bunny condo in your living room is super fun and adorable. I totally get it. But the simple fact of the matter is, it's just not practical to live with your livestock. It's true that wire bottom cages can cause sores on the hawks of your rabbit, but this can be easily avoided by providing mats for them to sit on and also sourcing the cages with the correct gauge of wire to avoid that problem in the first place. While you can keep your rabbits in a larger colony group, we've chosen not to do this simply for the fact that rabbits can be actually pretty territorial. We didn't want to lose any of our rabbits due to fighting. Most importantly, we don't want to lose any of our rabbits due to predators. We have a lot of stray cats and dogs and birds of prey in the neighborhood, so cages protect the animals, as well as keeping them clean by letting their feces drop down to trays below. We also make sure that all of our rabbits have the recommended amount of space, if not even more. In nicer weather months, we keep the rabbits out on pasture meaning they are grazing on the grass in our backyard and we also feed them fresh produce out of our garden. But when the weather doesn't permit, meaning it's too hot or too cold to keep them out on the grass, we move them either under air conditioning or into the bunny shed for protection from the weather. I could literally make an entire video about how awesome rabbits are. Whether you're homesteading or just keeping them as a family pet, they are fantastic, good-natured, and nestle right into your heart. Bunnies can be litter box trained, they love treats, they can do tricks, and it's just a lot of fun to watch them hop around your living room. Raising rabbits may not be for everyone, but for those who are interested in homesteading and growing food for their own family, rabbits are very easy and very sustainable. And in case you were wondering, they taste like chicken. <laughs> 